Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, you get to be the judge on whether these brides are being bridezillas or not. All right, this story is all over TikTok. There are some people who are on the maid of honor side and there are some people who are on the bride side. Oh. Hi, how are you? Uh, I could be better finishing up these invites. What are you doing? Um, I just got home, um, from the gym. I got the, I got the dress, the, the bridesmaid's dress. It was on my front porch. Um, so it got okay. delivered. That's exciting. Have you tried it on yet? Um, I haven't tried it on yet. I'm in the car right now. Just taking a peek at it. Little gander. Um, was this the color you wanted? Yes. Green, right? Oh, it's, it's green. All right. Um, I, we're, uh, is it like a, are we going for like a Miami Fiesta theme? Oh, that's great. Oh, that's I like neon. I don't know if I know what you mean. It's my favorite color and it's a fashion statement. Oh, it's a statement. Um, I just, I don't know if this is the right, I don't know if this is the right choice, babe. I'm kind of, this, uh, Jim, it's. It's the right choice, and I don't think you have an opinion. Sam, we it's spent three hundred, and it's a fashion statement. Okay, I get that, but like we spent three hundred and fifty dollars on them, and like it's literally see through. Like I could have gotten this on Sheen or like Fashion Nova or something. Like you said, you got the proofs of these okay. before we ordered them. Two like things. two things, three hundred fifty dollars is not that much, and two, where your Okay. Oh, the shape Ms. tape. Drew, okay, excuse I'm me. I'm just letting you know that I'm Ms. not. Drew, I'm not sure that. I'm a type, you're not supposed to bring problems to the bride. You're my maid of honor. You're supposed to solve the problems and not cause me a headache. I could give a rat what you think about the dress. Everyone else likes it. You're right. I'm sorry. It's a really pretty a pie in it. I'm gonna go try it. I don't know. Send you some photos of me in it. I don't want any pictures. Honestly, don't call me. I'll talk to you ugh, next week. I mean, okay. To a certain degree, it's so weird how like I've done videos where people don't want bridesmaids to like stand out. And that is pretty much like neon. Like that is like highlighter green. Okay, we're not loving the color. We're not. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's also her wedding. So like, I don't know. I don't know. She's not a bridezilla. It's her wedding. Wear what she says you're going to wear. If you spent $350 on another dress, you're still going to only wear it once. $350 is not that much. My actual wedding dress with shoes didn't cost that much. Okay, so it seems like a lot of people in the top comments are actually on the bride side, but we also have, I would not be in the wedding after that conversation. I mean, she didn't exactly talk to you in a way that was respectful, but then again, is coming to the bride with problems, like you don't like the color of the dress respectful. I don't know. Maybe it's a reasonable response to someone saying that they don't wanna wear what you want them to wear. If she's gonna talk to you like that, don't even go. This is not a real convo. Okay, it could be fake. I don't know. Okay, we need an update. We have an update. Are you ready? No, like, see? It's cute. I don't see what your problem is. I mean, my problem is it would be cuter at your bachelorette party. Like, this ends right under my bum, Sam. What's the issue? It's covering it. I mean, the Maybe issue- Maybe go to the gym and make your butt smaller? Suck in your hips a little bit? Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. Yes, brides of love. <laughs> Like literally bridezilla. Look at her, look at her face. Look at her face right here. Like, wait, did you, you actually just said that to me. Wait, you're allowed to have mental breakdowns as a bride. You're allowed to get stressed out. You're allowed to cry when things go wrong. It's inevitable. Things are gonna go wrong when you're planning an event, especially a wedding. What you are not allowed to do is talk to people like that. And like, I'm sorry, she's got a point. This is a very, very, very short dress. Like this is not appropriate. Yes, her wedding, but like also, come on. <laughs> it looks like she's going clubbing in Miami. It looks like a, like a tank top. Like, okay, I think- Fit in the dress. Fit in the dress. I think I fit in the dress, dude. What my saying is, is there's, we're in a cathedral, okay? You have stained glass oh, windows. Oh, it's a church, so not, not a cathedral. cathedral. Stained glass windows. Day. I get to do what I want. 
You do get to do what you want. I just don't understand why I'm in a different dress than the other bridesmaids. Wait. Because I want you in that dress. Wait. Why? Why you want her in that dress? Why is that? Why is she wearing something different? I guess she's made of honor, so it makes sense. But like, also, why that dress? Listen, it's a cute dress to wear like out, like this maid of honor said, to like a bachelorette party. Not in a church, in front of Jesus and the disciples. What would Jesus think? He's going to be up there on the cross, crying, looking at you, thinking, my God, how disgraceful. Not in my house, he says. In the house of the Lord. You will not wear this dress. Why are you still complaining? I don't listen. Stop giving me a headache. You chose to be my maid of honor. Be my maid of honor and stop complaining. I There's just, no problem here. Well, <laughs> there's actually a huge problem here. This dress is so fugly, Sam. And honestly, at least I'm gonna fit in my dress. No, it's your- What did you just say to me? Oh, it's- Oh! What did you just say to me? At least oh my. I'm gonna fit in my dress. Are you- kidding me get out get the now you know what i actually don't even want you at the wedding anymore please whatever don't come back seriously don't call me i'm blocking you whatever dude <clears throat> did we just witness a friendship breakup i think we did honestly not a total loss i would say I personally think she's being a bridezilla, but that's just me. That is just me. Did she delete the video? Oh my, I feel like the video is deleted now. Oh no. So maybe it was real. Cause like, I don't, I can't find this video. Honestly, I, I can't find it. And that would arguably mean that it's not fake. You be the judge. Is this maid of honor being unreasonable? Arguably, you shouldn't really bring problems to the bride. You shouldn't be complaining about things, especially not the dresses, et cetera, et cetera. Just kind of like, you know, it's not your day, not your problem. But I don't know, the way this bride talked to her, mm, and also that dress is like, mm, no, no, don't, come on, come on now. This, in a church, no freaking way. You are okay. <laughs> I, listen, I know it hurts right now. I'm not okay, Alyssa. You had all 10 toenails when you got married. <laughs> Boobies and butter. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, wait, I know this person is a bride. Number one, because she's wearing white and number two, because of those heart glasses. Like, how do I know? How do I know that she's a bride? Okay, so what happened here? Is this a bachelorette party? This is for, look at the pink, pink jello shot in her hand. Like, of course it's a bachelorette party. God, even the shadow is pink. <laughs> God, is it possible to go to a bachelorette party and not come back like traumatized or needing medical attention? Like has anyone out of curiosity ever been to a bachelorette party that was like totally chill? Like everybody only had fun. There was no drama, no crying, no injuries. Is it possible? Because like I'm three for three right now and I am, mm. I'm sorry to all my friends who watch these videos. There's not a lot of them, honestly, like. <laughs> You guys are my friends and you watch these videos. I'm at the point where if you have a bachelorette, I'm I'm good. I'm good on that. I don't even want a bachelorette party at this point. Like, oof. No, thanks. Honestly, at your bachelorette party, if you got hurt and lost your toenails, I think that's a genuine reaction. Like that would hurt. That would hurt. I'm glad you stayed so calm. <laughs> <laughs> so calm, so reasonable, but honestly fair. Like, honestly, this is fair. Especially if like you lost toenails and you were planning on wearing like open-toed shoes, it's traumatizing to lose a toenail, let me tell you. I had a friend who lost toenails once and like she had to wear like a fake toenail that she like glued on to her toe for like a year. Not her gentle parenting you while trying not to laugh. <laughs> It's safe to say that brides just need to be treated like babies. It's okay, sweetie. It is okay. Are you having a tantrum? We're gonna go to your room until you calm down. Okay, then you can come hang out with mommy. We have an update. Tell you the story on how it happened and let you know how it's been since. So that was a week ago. Somebody asked, oh, I hope you changed since then. No, <laughs> it was a week ago. So I haven't, and I'm not going to. That's besides the point. We were playing a game and in the game I had to do a split. The granite fireplace behind me and flooring was here and attached to the carpet when i slid back my back leg went like this and my toe hit the fireplace oh. my toe kept going and my toenail flipped forward oh. so when i pulled my leg up and looked at my toe 
my toenail was like this. Ah! So I pushed it back down. It was bleeding. I was crying. It hurt. Been drinking the entire day. This was like 8.30 p.m. We started drinking at like 8 a.m. And have always been and probably always will be a very extra person. Everything I do is extra. I'm very dramatic. I don't care. That's who I am. I'm <laughs> glad we're self-aware. No. 100% of the time I am who I am and I really don't get it. If anybody likes me or doesn't, it's not my problem for you. But anyway, it is a week later. That happened last Friday. I do still have all 10 toes. Great. Great. I do still have all 10 toenails. However, I'm not holding out that this toenail is not going to fall off at like any given second. I have had it wrapped with Neosporin since it happened. No, it's trying it's to gone, keep it clean, not get infected and all this crazy stuff. Mm. Because I can't do anything literally ever without getting hurt. So I'll say where my forehead is curling. Alyssa is not my sister. She's my best friend. We've been best friends since we were five. So many people were like pressed that I was like being mean and like acting. It really wasn't that serious. Like everybody was laughing as you can hear in the background. I was just being a drunken mess. And since they're all my friends, they know that like realistically, I would be fine. I just need to just scream and holler in the moment. And she's also not a teacher, but she does have two children that are young. So. <laughs> probably why she was speaking to me like a child because I was acting like a toddler, which is one of my very many traits. But for now, I still have all 10 toenails and I am brand they don't fall off before the wedding. And thank you to all the amazing ladies that have popped in the comments to tell me like how I can go about having a toenail for the wedding if this yeah. one does in fact fall off. So love you all for that very much. And if you want to be friends with us, you can be friends with us. So anyway, if you're going to do a split at a bachelor party or if you're going to do a split and been drinking or if you're going to do a split period in general, make sure there's not a granite fireplace behind you. Got it. Have sneakers on. Got it. I think all things considered, regardless of how dramatic she's being, <laughs> this is an appropriate reaction to like losing a toenail. I'm not okay, Alyssa. You had all 10 toenails when you got married. She's clearly being silly, even though she hurt herself. We're gonna go with not a bridezilla for this one, but there's still more. Okay, the bullshit that happened to me this morning taught me why some people become bridezilla. I'm not a bridezilla about things being perfect for me because I've never really cared about a wedding, but what I am is a good host. You come to my house, there's charcuterie out. I'm throwing a party. Dress up yes. whatever. If my hair and makeup isn't perfect, I don't care. If the music is bad, if the food is sh and if things are slow, I'll never forgive myself. So in February, when people were like, oh, what are you doing for your dress? What are you doing this? All I wanted to do was lock in my wedding band. I hire a planner, she can do the rest because I honestly don't give a Get all my Instagram followers to send me all their favorite wedding bands. I go through like literally a hundred of them. I narrow it down to five. I message all five, but there was one that was my favorite. I DM them on Instagram and I'm like, hey, do you guys do weddings? And they're like, yeah, we actually do, but you have to go through our manager. No problem. The manager and immediately I'm kind of like, this is a kid, which is fine. I don't care. This is one of their friends. That's what it seemed like to me. He quotes me. It's higher than any other wedding band, any professional wedding band. And these guys are like not a professional wedding band for two 45 minute sets. I ask him if he can do three 30 minute sets because I'm getting married New Year's Eve and I'm going to need a band to play after the ball. He goes, oh, the band doesn't usually like doing that because we like to get the energy up. And I'm like, okay, well, I like my wedding to be a certain way. So if you guys don't want to play a wedding, no problem, I will hire someone else. But okay, like, if I'm hiring you fair. to do my event. It's possible for the same amount of time to be allotted into three sets. I'd appreciate that. He goes, actually, yeah, we can totally do that. And we'll throw in some bonus music at the beginning, like cocktail music. I'm like, okay, sick. Like you being all over the place is playing to my advantage in this moment. Sends me a contract. Last day that either of us can pull out of this is June 1st. And on June 1st, I owe him a deposit. So June 1st comes and goes. I'm not sweating about my wedding band. They have been locked through my documents and stuff and realized, oh, I didn't send them the deposit. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't send them the, de the deposit because I don't know where to send it to. Because they didn't like message me June 1st or invoice me or anything. Oh, so weird. I, I emailed the manager and I'm like, hey man, I think I owe you some money. No response. Email the band. I'm like, hey guys, can't get in touch with your manager. I think I owe you some money. They read it on Instagram. It's the dry email the manager sends me this morning. Good morning. I'm sorry to inform you that we won't be able to play your wedding in the end. In the end. We'll be outside the country, Australia. Which by the way, no one ever told <laughs> didn't say we might not be there. I don't know what this in the end, oh, in the end, like we were talking before, in the end it won't work is about. But anyway, and I'd hope to be back the 31st, but some issues arise and it won't be possible. I'm terribly sorry about this news and wish you a wonderful wedding. And you know what irks me? If I didn't message you, because I realized that I didn't pay you, when were you gonna email me? Long after June 1st, when I thought this was on lock, would you have emailed me and September. Now I'm not gonna drop the manager's name or the band's name because I really don't think this is the band's fault, but I will say, if you wanna know, DM me on Instagram and I'll tell you because this is what happens oh. when you're careless with your customers, you might just get a bad review and that person that's giving you a bad review might just have half a million followers on TikTok. These are the consequences you have to deal with if you're gonna act up for the price they were charging me. Please, you should have sent me that email June 1st, top of the morning, but anyway, stay nuts girls. Stay nuts, that's all I can tell you. Oh my. Okay, okay. I mean, 
when you're planning a wedding, I would assume you've got a lot of things going on. So sending the deposit late isn't necessarily her fault, but like, I'm surprised that you didn't send it right away, honestly. That doesn't make you a bridezilla. And I don't think being angry about the fact that a band said they would play your wedding, signed a contract and then dipped. Unfortunately though, this is kind of why we pay the deposits. Like I'm, I, you're not being a bridezilla. I'm just saying this is why we pay deposits so that they don't back out, okay? This is why we have contracts. I don't think she's being a bridezilla though. I think that's totally fair. My advice to all my engaged friends is be a bridezilla with vendors. I was a chill bride and so many things went wrong the day of. To some degree, it's kind of like if you're paying someone to do a job, she had every intention of paying them. She, it probably just slipped her mind, you know, cause she's got 10 million other things to deal with. But do you notice how like they only did what she wanted after she threatened to essentially just hire somebody else? Like they were being sassy and like, oh, well, we don't really do that. Okay, well then um, I'll just find somebody else. Oh, oh yeah, you, okay, we will, we will, we'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's a time and a place, especially when it comes to business, to be a little disagreeable. I like to use the word assertive instead of disagreeable, if that's even a word. If you're not, you know, a little bit assertive, especially when there's money being exchanged, people will for sure just take you for a ride. Not me thinking you were talking about a ring wedding band in the first half of the video. I heard that and I was like, oh yeah, there's two different types of wedding bands, aren't there? <laughs> Just a different take. They may not have needed your business when given a deposit date. You pay or I'd assume you've gone in a different direction. This is why it's like, I understand she forgot. It happens, things happen. She had every intention of paying them, but it's still like, I'm surprised that you didn't send the deposit like pretty much as soon as you signed a contract. Like you gotta like do everything you're supposed to do in a contract or the contract is null and void, okay? We gotta be setting alarms on dates where contracts, you know, are null and void if you don't do something, like send a deposit. You know, even if like a contract is like, oh, this contract is up for renewal. And if you don't say otherwise, this contract will be automatically renewed, which might not be ideal for you if you're not enjoying this contract. Set an alert in your phone to make sure that you do everything you're supposed to, to like be aware of everything you're supposed to be doing. It kind of sounds like they probably would have just bailed on you anyway, but like without you doing the deposit and sending it when you were supposed to, now it's kind of like in contract terms, it's kind of your fault, I'm just saying. Doesn't mean you're a bridezilla, honey. Just means there's nothing you can do. Okay, moving on. This Bridezilla bridesmaid story is going to shake you to your absolute core. When you hear what I read today, you are going to throw up in your mouth. As you all well know by now, I'm getting married in October. And what do brides do? They band together in Facebook groups and help sell each other. Uh -huh. So there is a New Jersey bride group that I'm part of on Facebook and everybody gives tips and tricks and vendors and all that stuff on there. And for the most part, it can be pretty positive. There is some toxicity in there. I try to stay away from it. Judgment about how much money you're supposed to spend on this and that and whatever. This story literally rocked my world. So basically there was a girl who posted on there anonymously because you can post anonymous. And she said, I was a bridesmaid in my very close friend's wedding. I was recently diagnosed with cancer and I've been undergoing chemo. Sometimes the chemo affects me so bad that I have a hard time getting out of bed. Mm -hmm. So I respectfully reached out to the bride to step down as a bridesmaid because I didn't want to hinder her big day. That seems like a perfectly normal thing to do to me. Yeah. So she tells the bride, you can keep all of the money for the shower, for the bachelorette party, for the hair and makeup, for my dress. Every penny I've contributed, you can keep because I don't want you to have to worry about money this close to your wedding. That's but I nice. just don't feel comfortable. I can't, I'm just not myself. Again, probably the most courageous and respectful thing I've ever heard of a human being doing. Mm -hmm. So what does the bride say? She doesn't respond, goes on Instagram and crops this girl out of every photo that she's in. <laughs> Every picture they have together is taken down and every photo that she's in, she crops her and the girl's sister out. Stop. This poor woman goes, Oh my God. Did I do the wrong thing by stepping down? No. You should see the <laughs> comments, dude. You should see the comments. People are in the comments like, I wish you didn't post this anonymously so we could find out who this is. Like, what kind of disgusting human being tells someone, or doesn't even say anything, but what kind of disgusting human being gets angry with someone for stepping down from their wedding 
because they have cancer. I'm, I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around this. And then to go a step further, not respond, and then remove all evidence of this person existing in your life because they made the courageous decision to step down. Do you know how hard it probably was for that person? I have a friend who thought about stepping down just because of her financial obligations and not being able to afford to be in the wedding. And she was brave enough to come to me and say, hey, I don't wanna take away from your day, but I don't know if I can, tri can contribute X, Y, and Z. And this person has been my best friend since preschool, so what did I say to her? Don't worry about it, I got you. I, I can't believe people act like this. I think brides have almost like an inflated sense of self when it's their wedding year or if they have events going on. It's kind of like this perception of like, I am the only one. Everything has to go my way. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be mad. Listen, it's disappointing to find out that your friends aren't coming to your wedding. I've had friends who, you know, they have a maid of honor who just like literally did not even show up like until like very, very late into the night. She was supposed to have like a speech and stuff like that. She literally did not show up. But I think in this case, your friend has cancer, bro. She's trying not to ruin your wedding because she's going through chemo and she doesn't think that she can show up for you in a way that you probably require. You respond by not responding and then doing some passive aggressive like this. My goodness. Brides, let's also be aware that like other people have other things going on. It's not just, you know, your wedding. It also could be a day where someone has major life events, major mental health problems, major financial issues. Read the room. Yes, it is your day, and yes, we are friends, and yes, I will show up for you. But read the frickin' room. Stop expecting so much of everybody. Just be happy that anyone can even show up for you at all. This bride should be happy that anyone wants to show up for her at all with that attitude. The correct thing as a bride is to say, I love you, I want you to get better, what can I do for you? Literally, it's like not about you. She's not doing this to slight you, Miss, Miss Thing, bestie. Brides expect everybody to show up for them in these amazing ways. Ways, but when it comes to you needing a bride to show up for you, bro. How dare you expect anything of me? I am the bride. It is I who must have unreasonably high expectations of you. How many videos have we done like this? Bruh. How many brides are exactly the same? All right, I saved the best for last. This one's a doozy. Man threatens to call cops while bride films sentimental video for husband. So you're already rolling. So whenever you're feeling ready, you'll go and we will try not to move because of the gravel. The videographer saw an older couple walking by and politely stopped them to explain that we were filming the bride and audio picks up gravel. No, I don't want to be on video in any way, shape or form. He would not let us explain, so he interrupted three times saying, I don't want to be on video. And you're on private property and we're watching your house right now, so we do have a bit of an issue here. Can you please get off the fence? No, I won't. If you want to call someone, you can, but we have permission to do this from the owners. So if... The owner over here? Yeah, yeah, if you want to you call them, you totally the can. Owner of this house this that owns this one. Okay. If you want to call them, you can. If you want to call them, you can. Oh, love it with a smile on okay. your face. You All right, whatever... What's your name, ma'am? My name? Yes, give me your name. Okay, if you're an officer, I would give you I my name, but you're not. Period. You are on private property. Okay. Okay. I think you have a pet peeve because he asked you something and you're trying to stand your ground and you're coming off as a very ugly person. Oh! So thank you and oh. have a great walk. Goodbye. I don't care. I love this place as a tourist. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. What is wrong with people? <laughs> wow, that really is gonna... <laughs> wow, no, dude. Why are you apologizing? Like, honestly, like, sorry, that's like, I don't like that. I was being so nice. You yeah. did. I'm... He didn't even hear you out. Yeah, he didn't even he, let me finish. He didn't let you finish. He is a snooty, white person. Like, Oh, excuse me. I love how you're, you just got this like Southern charm about you and just like, okay, okay, honey. Should have added in a, okay, sweetheart. <laughs> There's something about adding that like, sweetheart. Oh, pumpkin. So is she a bridezilla? 
No. Dude, they were being so rude for no reason. They're being Karens. If there's anyone who can out-Karen a Karen, it's a Bridezilla. Subscribe!